when I was young, I met this, this amazing couple named Brock and Michelle Obama. Great people, we stayed in touch. Um, they ended up doing pretty well in life. And, uh, and, and, and when they ended that amazing eight years in office, uh, they decided to put together the Obama Foundation and, and asked me to join in putting together and curating their first ever Obama Summit in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, it's a very important event that we're all here. Uh, Chicago gets a bad rap for, you know, things that people don't really know anything about and they don't know a lot about our city or how it glows in all the amazing ways that we contribute to the world artistically, economically, socially. Um, there's, there are a lot of amazing, um, brilliant people working uh, in this city to make this city and the world a better place. Um, but they just need the boost. They need the boost to get there, and that's, that's what the Obama Summit is. It's a place for people to exchange ideas, to, to speak, to catch amazing talks, to connect with people. And, uh, and I'm so glad for everybody, happy for everybody who participated yesterday and today. Thank you for making this thing an amazing success. Um, that's what we're about. Um, so I know you guys worked hard these past two days, and I know that you're gonna take everything that you learned back to your communities to make them uh, themselves better. Uh, so I guess I should probably stop. I'm, I'm just like walking around talking on stage. I got cool things planned for tonight. Um, but we did this as a way of saying thanks to Chicago, um, uh, President and First Lady, uh, asked me to curate this little concert for you guys tonight. So I got some, some cool things up my sleeve. I asked some friends to join me, uh, including some special guests. And, uh, and maybe I might be performing a little bit too. Who knows? But first, I want to introduce our host of the evening. They're extraordinary Chicagoans and Americans who I am proud and honored, honestly honored to call friends. Um, they made us proud the last eight years in the White House. And they're gonna continue to make us proud for a long time to come. Can we, can we actually stand up? Can you guys stand up? Next slide on the teleprompter. I want you guys to give a warm welcome first to an amazing and probably the greatest first lady in the history of this great country, Miss Michelle Obama. You should blush. You should blush. I'm so proud of you for the father, the man that you are. Um, thank you for being with us and for supporting us. But I'm also here to just say, hey, Chicago. What's going on? It is so good to be home. Chicago. I mean, we just had two amazing days with young leaders from around the world, and we got a lot of stuff done, a lot of stuff is going to happen, but this night was very important because for Barack and I, we wanted to make sure that the city knew that bringing the foundation here was important to us because we love this city. 
It is a special place. This was the city that raised me. It is, it is the city that connected me to the love of my life. It is the city where my love and I, we raised our two amazing daughters who have become phenomenal young women in their own right. And the other day, Prince Harry and I, we spent a little time at one of the neighborhood high schools. We went to high school. a very important question, and it's profound because it says so much about this world and how neighborhoods think of themselves. This young man asked me why. Why did you pick our neighborhood, our community, to locate the foundation? That's you. And that question stuck with me because one of the things I said was that the question isn't why would we be here in Chicago on the south side, but why not? Why not? Chicago is a, has an amazing array of resources. We have great organizations. We have great faith-based leaders. We have strong culture. We have music. We have talent. We have history. We have organizing. We have beauty. So why wouldn't we want to put that laboratory on the south side and bring all those resources home? So this concert tonight is just one piece of that investment that we want to make to our city, to our home. We love you, and we know that there's much that we can do together. But right now, it is my honor to introduce person who is working his fingers to the bone to make this foundation a reality. The man who has served this country with honor and grace and dignity and intelligence. The 44th president of the United States.